Okay, so looking back on all of the, um, I don't know, times that I embarrassed myself by lying in an attempt to create the reality that I wanted, I, I, I remember there being this uh, very, very honest intent behind it, in that I think that I had the natural inclination, the, the inherent understanding that somehow that you had to make things logically real or true before they could occur. And one of the methods that was tried, I'm sure by all of us as kids and teenagers, was saying that it had already happened. Because that is a grounded logic. If you convince enough people that it already happened, then within the host of their shared reality, it would occur easier. Now that I'm older, and I can look back on it with cringe, I can't understand that maybe that's the root of a lot of liars' problems. Is that for some of them it actually works. Maybe that's the root of all this teenage embarrassment. <sighs> there wasn't anything in here, but I could have lied there if I was really trying. cat hairs on it. Anyway, perhaps it's that these people aren't trying to be deceitful, but rather they're trying to hack their way through logical structure to get what they want. And this hack is evading physical structure, which is what we're being truthful to, against, what we're honestly measuring in order to state the next logical truth or possibility. And whenever you stay too far out of the physical occurrence, it is considered inaccurate, a lie. Now maybe those lying for the sake of creating the life they want should not be as embarrassed as those lying for the sake of attacking or ruining others. Even then, no. I'm not doing that. Those only lying because they think that it's the best way to get what they want after this sudden and quiet realization that reality doesn't always make sense and you can kind of just say what you want and it'll happen. I think that there's a hint of innocence underneath that. What the fuck? I think there's a hint of innocence underneath that. I gotta go.